Hello everyone, Mega Man NG here, and it's that time of the week again. Yep, that's right. Another week, another round of my Ace Attorney episode review. Today we're going to be talking about episode 10, Turnabout Goodbye's third trial. However, there will not be any guests this week because I'm going at this solo. That, and I'm in a rush for time because I should have gotten this episode review done sooner, but I had to go to the gym, I had to relax, unwind, you get the idea. So basically, it continues on from last week's episode as Phoenix and Maya continue investigating in the hopes of getting Edgeworth innocent. They soon meet the boat owner, who ends up becoming a witness at the trial, and you can pretty much tell it gets as crazy as it gets. I think that didn't sound right, but the point is, it leads to the trial and it gets crazy. I really mean it, crazy. To be honest, this is actually one of the more intense and at some points funniest episodes I've ever watched. Yes, you do get to see more of Manfred von Karma on how threatening he is. Although to be fair, I wish he had like some sort of mini breakdown when the trial should have ended about three minutes. But after three minutes, he'd be like that, like breaking down, but it never happened. But truthfully, it really wouldn't matter because the trial itself, it had pretty good pacing. And I thought Phoenix and Maya were going to be screwed. Sorry, I had to get water. So anyway, I thought they were screwed. I thought they really were screwed. But like in the game, guess who decides to save the day? You're looking at the guy on the screen right now. It's Larry Butts. And I couldn't decide whether to have him in the original Ace Attorney style or the one with the most recent Ace Attorney 6. Yes, it's been revealed that Larry Butts is in Ace Attorney 6 in a DLC case, Turnabout Across Time. But the point is, Larry Butts comes in and saves the day, providing testimony that helps Phoenix Wright save his case. I mean, how he just comes in and he's like, WAIT! And it's like, it was just so funny, but it was also so awesome at the same time. Not to mention, use of Wind Blast, and the blast this time come from Manfred Von Karma, and it seems that he's not the only person who can pull stuff like that off. Remember last week when Phoenix Wright was able to do that? Well, this week Manfred Von Karma does it, but he does it in a way that I chuckle and laugh and just say, wow. Like, with Manfred Von Karma, slammed down with a fist, Phoenix Wright gets blown away. A simple snap of the fingers, Larry Butts gets blown away. He does it twice, and I just couldn't help but laugh at it because, yes, it's an anime that doesn't take itself seriously, but still, it's just that hilarious to boot. Not to mention, we actually learned more about the case at hand, especially with what really happened, which was a nice sort of plus. And the fact that Larry had to come and save the day was just a delight. It really was a delight, and it also ties into the fact regarding Larry Butts, Phoenix Wright, and Miles Edgeworth. I know I don't want to spoil it for next episode, but the point is those three are like childhood friends and they've known each other for years. And it all relates to the classroom incident that happened years back. I'm not going to mention about it since it wasn't mentioned much in the episode, though the preview for the next week's episode, the trial continues on. And I'm surprised, and they're actually going to be adding more to it. Which also begs the question if they're going to be skipping Rise from the Ashes to go straight for Justice for All. Because yeah, when I saw the preview for episode 11, it was like Turnabout Goodbye's fourth trial. Oh man, they're really up in the ante here. Although, I wonder if Manfred's going to end up tasing Phoenix and Mai at that point. I don't know for sure. I just really don't know. But what I do know is that this episode this week was very good. It was actually an intense episode at that. And I saw, you know what another thing I liked? It was like anytime DL6 is mentioned, they add the change of atmosphere, adding the music for DL6 into it. It was just so beautifully well done. And I can honestly admit, some people do like the music big time, and I did too a lot. But honestly, what can I say? If you haven't seen the episode, watch it right now. I give this like a 9 out of 10. It was just a very good episode. It wasn't as rushed. The pacing for it was very well done. Some of the moments were just absolutely funny. There were like some good epic scenes. And it felt like the games. Although this time around, things were like a bit twisted. They took some liberties, but overall, it was pretty good. I liked it. It's not much of an episode review because let's be honest, I'm one for time. But what I can say is that next week's episode is where things go down the wire. Yeah, as you guys are aware in the Ace Attorney universe, all trials have to end in three days. So far, in this case, we've already gone through two days. And if it does hit a third day, it's going to be an intense one. It really is. My guess is that the first half of the season is going to end with the fourth case. But who knows? 
Who really knows for sure? The only thing I hope for is that they adapt Rise from the Ashes and have it either be like an OVA or a continuing story. We know we're adapting the first two games. I've mentioned this numerous times during my reviews, and I know you guys have mentioned it in the comments as well. But I really wish to see Phoenix Wright try his luck with the fifth case since that case sort of tied the two games together. And it could also explain Edgeworth's behavior during the events of Justice for All. I don't really know for sure because we only have a few episodes left. I've been doing this for like two months and I'm enjoying every single bit of it. I've been enjoying the anime a lot. It really is good. It really is faithful to the actual games. But it makes me wish I wanted more. What can I say? This, this week's episode is good. And next week is going to be even more good. So I got to ask, what do you guys think of the episode? Was it good? Was it bad? Was there anything you liked, disliked, etc.? Please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me, not only as an Ace Attorney player, but also an Ace Attorney reviewer. Share the video around with all your fellow Ace Attorneys. And I'll see you guys next week when we review episode 11, Turnabout Goodbyes Fourth Trial. And if you would like to be a guest on these future episode reviews, just hit me a PM and I'll see what I can do. Bear in mind though, there are a few restrictions to this. You need to make sure you have Audacity. You need to make sure it has the lame MP3 encoder. Make sure you have a good mic and above all else, wear earphones. Because trying to render like last week's episode because last week's guest forgot to like include earphones, Leo. Though I hope it can be corrected. I hope because I hope to have him as a future guest, but I want to give you guys the opportunity to join me as we watch the Ace Attorney anime, or rather provide our thoughts. Alright, that's it. This is Mega Man NG, signing off. Peace out. See you next week.